we just got about three days of rain down here in Southern California. And as great as it was, it actually caused a lot of problems. And the biggest one being my worm farm. With all the rain that kept coming down, even with the tarp on it, there was still uh, some water getting into there. And it ended up making it a lot heavier because of how heavy all of, or how waterlogged all of the uh, soil was getting inside the CFT. And it actually caused it to break. And it completely sheared all the screws off and it just dropped straight down. It doesn't seem real that it's not like one leg broke and it tipped over. All of them broke at the same time and the entire CFT just completely fell straight down and all four legs fell over to the side. So now I need to deal with that because I can't get to the bottom of it and get my worm castings out anymore. So I need to resolve that and there is no great answer for this. So now I'm just gonna have to go ahead, take all of my worm castings, worms and food and put them into bins for now and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to rebuild this or I'll make some modifications to it and build a new one. But either way, I need to go ahead and take care of this because I can't just leave my worm bin sitting on the ground. Nice. And right here, you can actually see where they all sheared off. And there's barely any screw that's actually sticking out. They just completely snapped off. It went and just completely fell straight down, which doesn't seem possible. It seems like you would tip over from one leg breaking, but not all four of them breaking at the same time. So learn from my mistakes and overbuild it. Don't build it to what you think you need. This was not fun having to try and fix this after the fact. I am glad though to see that the CFT does work, it was working well, and I was seeing such a healthy population of worms and lots of eggs in all of the compost and castings that were in here. So this is where the worm bin was, we've gotten it out, we actually have two 55 gallon uh, totes over there, and then these are two 27 gallons, so this 6 foot by 2 foot by about a foot and a half uh, or 18 inches or so had over let's see 110 right there 30 had over 160 gallons worth of uh, material that the worms were either eating or composting or had turned into castings but trying to make lemonade from lemons uh, I'm gonna look at it as I saw that I have a lot of worms. They were really healthy. I was seeing a lot of eggs in there. And now that it's uh, empty, I can go ahead and put a plastic liner around the wood this time. So that way it will stop it from rotting and breaking down over the next couple of years. That way it can help prolong this and keep this worm bin going without needing to rebuild it uh, and replace the wood often because of it being broken down from the casting. So I'm trying to find the uh, silver lining to this and that's what I'm gonna tell myself about this. Some of the material though does look really good. So I think from these two, these two 27 yon totes, I'm gonna go ahead, let them dry out a little bit and I will try to sift them a little bit to get some of the castings out of here. And then I'll just recycle that material back into the CFT once I rebuild it. 
And this time it's gonna be a lot sturdier and it can handle all of that weight along with any unexpected things that will happen like a lot of rain making the material even more wet. But I do plan to make it so that no water gets into this when it does rain to hopefully prevent this from happening again. All right, we're almost done. I just need to finish up cleaning my side. So I decided uh, instead of just telling you about how my worm bin broke down and it, I, I had failed at it, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and fix it and show me fixing it, not just doing it and then putting it back together and never addressing it. I wanted to actually show um, I've fixed it and I'm gonna go ahead and fix some other little things. I put on new legs. I also put bracing on underneath to help hold the weight. So the, the two by fours underneath would have to fully split with all the weight on top. So this isn't gonna go anywhere now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back and then that way I can uh, get this all lined and I can start putting all of my worms back into here so that way they can continue making worm castings for me for this coming year. And now that I just looked, I can see that something was digging in one of my totes and they definitely either ate some of the food or they ate some of the worms that were in my 55 gallon uh, tote that's holding some of my worms. So I don't want to lose any more. I'm going to go ahead, get this set up so that way I can go ahead and finish this and get it reset up so my worms can be nice and happy and I can get my worm castings from them. So that's one 27 gallon tote in there and it's already put a good three inches or so of the bedding and the worms back into the bin. So because I've already had this CFT set up and there are so many worms and eggs uh, that were already in that base bedding material, I figure it's better to put it all back in there and just continue feeding and letting it do its own thing instead of trying to get all my worms out of all the material that had come out of the bed and then just putting like a new layer and then starting over. I figure it's better just to put them all in there and then maybe in a month or so I'll harvest. As it starts to sink down, I'll go ahead and go through that material, whatever it hasn't broken down, I'll go ahead and add into the top of the CFT again and then I can take out any worms or eggs that I will have gone now from the bottom and then that way I don't have to start the CFT completely over. I can just work with it and get it back to a good working order before it had fallen and I took it apart. Now when me and my nephew started to harvest it, I told him let's go inch by inch to hopefully get all the worms off in one bin and then any eggs and more worms as we go down and then hopefully we would hit a point where it would just be all worm castings and that way I could pull those out, keep it off to the side, and then get the bin uh, set up again, add fresh bedding, and kind of start it over. But as we continue to go down, no matter at what point we were at, there were worms in there and there was worm eggs. So I figured it's just better to harvest it all out and then go ahead and put it all back in and allow it to just continue working the way it was. All right, so I've now put some worm chow down, which is just grinded up uh, chicken scratch. I've grinded it up really finely, so that way the worms can eat it really quickly. And this should help the worms stay where they are and get uh, reacclimated back into this CFT. So now I've put down some food for the worms that I'm assuming like hanging out at the bottom of the bin. And now I'm gonna go ahead and bring these two 55 gallon totes back over here and I'll start filling that up. And then I'll also add another layer on top of this CFT to account for all of the um, bedding that's gonna go back into it. So 
I just added a two by six frame to the outside of this. So now my two by 12 also has a two by six on it. So as this bin starts to fill up, if I'm harvesting or if I have a lot of material to add, I can go ahead and add more of these. And if not, then I can just leave it where it is. But I really like this option of being able to add more if I have a lot of food that I want to add into here. And that way I don't have to uh, figure out where I'm going to store it. Like, am I going to put it in my freezer or how am I going to keep it from being eaten by like house flies and, and maggots? So I really like this option of being able to make it bigger if I need to. So now that it is on here, I'm gonna go ahead and continue adding the worms back into this bin. There are so many little baby worms. I have just a few that are in here and I can't believe how many there are. We're in winter and it's cold and yet I'm still finding lots of baby worms. So these must have hatched out fairly recent and that just makes me really happy that I know that this system is working out really well and it should be pretty well populated here real soon. And once it's fully populated, I know they will just be eating a mass amount of food and producing lots of worm castings for me. Just a quick recap, I had two 55 gallon totes completely filled up and then I also had two 27 gallons that were pretty close to being full and that all came out of this six foot by two foot continuous flow through worm bin the bin was doing really well and i was really happy with it so i definitely have plans to make more of these in the future and hopefully bigger so that way i can get more worm castings out of this and be able to sell those as well so my goal is with feeding them and putting a cover on is that any worms that maybe want to escape and they start crawling up to the surface and start to uh, want to work their way to the sides and out, they'll come in contact with the food and they'll decide to eat instead of uh, trying to escape. So that's my goal. I hope it works because I really don't want to have to go and find more worms to put into this bin since it was doing so good. So learn from my mistake. If you do build a CFT, be sure to overbuild it, that way you don't ever have to worry about it breaking. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.